Okay, so this is another variation of using a capacitor on a DCC decoder um, used as a stay alive capacitor or a hybrid drive. Um, but this variation is going to be using a super capacitor instead of a regular capacitor. But first, I want to show you how I tapped into this board. This is an Atlas, an old Atlas decoder. So this is my blue wire, my positive uh, accessory. But what I did do is solder this wire onto the business end or the other end of this uh, bridge rectifier. Let me zoom in on that for you. So these four diodes here make up the bridge rectifier. This one going right here, that's going to the blue wire. And this end right here is where I tapped into. Um, these are my two wires that are going to the capacitor. So this is the old capacitor that I was using. It's a 4700 uh, microfarad 10 volt capacitor. That only gave me about half a second of um, drive after the DCC power signal got cut. So I'm going to be replacing that with this. This is a um, 22 millifarad supercapacitor. I'll show you the difference between the two. What power they'll get, the output they'll give you. Okay, so this is uh, the capacitor is fully charged right now, and it's hooked to this little motor. I'll just show you what kind of charge or what kind of action this capacitor will give to this motor. That long. And now with this fully charged supercapacitor, you can see what the uh, run time is. Considerably longer. You can see the size difference of these two. You can see the supercapacitor is about the same size as the normal one but it's a lot flatter easy to work with I'm going to be putting that in this uh, tender here of this one so again I have it on this little one because on this uh, this little switcher here even though there's pickups on these two wheels this wheel here has traction tires which isn't going to get the the pickup from the tracks very well at all so these are going to be the very two so you can see this little train the way that it was will be very jerky and jumpy um, any dirty spot any any plastic or dead frogs it would stop it would jerk it just wouldn't run very well so we're going to put the super capacitor in this one Here's a track test. The first engine has a super capacitor um, in it, in the decoder. Um, the second little switcher behind it does not have a capacitor at all. It's just the decoder, and you can see the difference. So another reason to have a super capacitor instead of a regular capacitor is if you have a short circuit on the line, your train will keep going while the other trains will stop. For example, 